Guys, so I'm just going to talk you how, through how to use a Google Drawings as one of your clues um, as a bit of a puzzle. So we're going to be using two things. We're going to be using our Google Drawing as was shown in the previous video. And then we're also going to use jigsawplanet.com. This is a really cool app in that it can create little puzzles that you can kind of then do by yourself. So for example, here you will see that they'll have all of the pieces here and you can slowly start to build the puzzle yourself. This is a really fun way for kids to kind of find a clue. So one thing that I like to do is actually like take one of my Google drawings and turn it into a clue for my students and then turn it into a puzzle and they have to solve the puzzle to be able to get the clue. So something that we can do here is you would first, you would download your Google drawing as a PNG so that it is an image and then you will go to your puzzles here and you will create your own puzzle so to create a puzzle here we can say create and then you can change the name here so i'm going to use escape room one as my puzzle here you can decide do you want it to be easy do you want it to be hard what type you want i really like these classic kind of puzzles here and tags you can kind of add to extra tags so that people can go and search this as well. And then very easily you just say create and it will take the image that we had, which was our Google escape room here, and it will turn it into a puzzle for you, which you can use as a clue. So students will then have to complete the puzzle to be able to get the next clue. Um, so for example, here, one that I already have done, um, which I did for my previous uh, escape room was this puzzle here that you can see um, and it was a clue. So the clue in itself was kind of like a bit emoji of me here. Um, Google image search Atari and play a game. So again, students would have to be able to fix this puzzle or complete the puzzle before they can go to the next clue. And then again, the answer would be in the locks of your Google form that you created earlier.